Dogs are often seen as man's best friend, but not all breeds are created equal. Some dogs are considered more dangerous. While any dog can bite you and cause personal injuries, some dogs have more of a propensity to do so. The following dogs, therefore, have a reputation, statistically, for being more aggressive or violent. Dogs may have aggression issues if they're not obedience trained or they are not socialized at an early age. They may also tend to bite more if they have little interaction with their owner. Dogs may also exhibit hostility if they have not been spayed or neutered. Some dogs are more fierce when they feel sick, scared, or threatened. Therefore, it's important to play it safe around all dogs. However, it's also important to note those breeds whose temperament leads to more dog attacks and injuries. The Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff is a very large, very muscular dog. He can weigh up to 130 pounds and he can grow as tall as 27 inches. Unless these dogs are well trained and well behaved, they can become violent. Fully trained dogs can become very unpredictable. According to the statistics, there were 111 attacks in a 15-year period. Of that number, 46 were children and 63 of the attacks were fatal. With proper care and training, however, these dogs can make excellent family pets. The American Bulldog. The American Bulldog is incredibly muscular and he has a stocky build. He can weigh between 60 to 120 pounds, which packs a great deal of power behind his muscular body. He was originally bred to work on a farm where he would help his master catch and hold cattle and wild boar. He would also kill the vermin that tried to take over the farm and he would guard his master's property. Today, he is more of a family dog. Like any dog, with proper training, he will be friendly. He is a very confident dog, which can cause him to be stubborn at times. He also has a very emotional personality at times. As long as you can break him out of this behavior at an early age, he can be a loving and friendly pet. The Doberman Pinscher. The Doberman Pinscher indeed can be a fearful dog to own or come across unexpectedly. You might liken it to an unanticipated meeting with a grizzly in a remote forest. Moreover, the dog's bite is considered the strongest bite on record. The dog is reported to have 600 pounds of pressure in its attack bite, something which makes it a formidable foe. Because the Doby is a smart dog, it can be aggressive on command. The Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is a very massive dog. They can weigh up to 130 pounds and most are pure muscle. This dog is considered to be very dangerous, because he has a genetic predisposition to guard and herd. Not all of these dogs are savage beasts. As with many breeds, these dogs have a bad reputation due to abuse, neglect, lack of socialization, lack of training, and being cared for by irresponsible owners. According to the statistics, the Rottweiler was responsible for 535 dog attacks between 1982 and 2014. Of those attacks, 297 of the victims were children, and 85 of the attacks were fatal. In 2015, a man in Jackson Madison County, Tennessee adopted a Rottweiler and three hours later, the dog attacked and killed him. Some people believe that it was the way that he was treated before he was adopted that caused the attack. German Shepherds. German Shepherds are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, and they're also one of the most dangerous. The dogs were originally bred for herding and guarding sheep, but they're now often used as police dogs, guard dogs, and service animals. German Shepherds are large, strong dogs with a lot of energy, and they can be very aggressive if not properly trained and socialized. If a dog owner owns a snappy chihuahua, its bite can cause damage but is not as pronounced as that of a German Shepherd. A German Shepherd's bite strength can be very serious, sufficient enough to break a bone or rupture a blood vessel, causing a person to bleed to death. The breed, which is possessive and territorial, may attack if it feels someone is invading its space or if it receives unwanted guests. To ensure the dog is more compliant, a dog owner should train the dog when it is a puppy. The earlier they begin, the better. Socialization is an important component of the dog's training. While the dog may feel threatened, it will be less dangerous. The American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier is considered one of the most dangerous dog breeds both in the US and internationally. They are a very aggressive breed and have been known to attack and kill people. They are also very strong dogs and can easily overpower anyone that stands in their way. In fact, bully breeds, also known as the American Staffordshire Terrier, 
have been feared by the public for decades. This dog is indeed stereotyped, given its reputation for unpredictability. Their display of aggression has also been supported by media reports and claims. Data shows that these dogs make up about 6% of the dogs in the US. However, 68% of pit bulls have been responsible for dog bites since 1982. According to many statistics, pit bulls are responsible for more fatalities than any other dog breed. Also, it is important to note that German Shepherds, who are older, may experience more aggression because of old age. If they're hurting, they're more likely to become irritable and bite someone out of fear or pain. The Japanese Akita The Japanese Akita has a beautiful appearance and many admirable traits. They are especially famous for their loyalty and devotion to their owners. But, this breed is included in the list of potentially dangerous dogs. So, why are Akitas considered dangerous dogs? Akitas are burly, heavy-boned dogs of imposing stature that can weigh up to 130 pounds and reach a height of 28 inches. They have a scissor-like jaw and a powerful bite like pit bulls. It means their jaws cannot be pried open until they decide to let go. Another reason why Akitas are considered dangerous dogs is because of their hunting and fighting history. Is a Japanese Akita a dangerous dog? The answer is it depends on you. A Japanese Akita can be dangerous if he is not properly socialized from a young age. However, if you thoroughly research your dog's breed information before adopting, willing to spend time and immense love to train and socialize your dog from the time he is a cute puppy, he will not be dangerous. A well-socialized Akita is a well-behaved dog. As a result, you don't have to worry about how he'll react when you introduce him to various activities, take him to different places, and meet new people and other animals. To a poorly socialized dog, the world is a scary place. They may overreact by showing undesirable behaviors like fear or aggression. So proper training and socialization are essential to keep your dog happy and healthy, also giving you peace of mind.